everybody, Hitman from BlackOpsFishing.com. I'm just, I'm dying to do some kind of fishing. Yesterday didn't pan out that good. Uh, it started pouring and um, I lost all my rain gear when the boat sunk too. So it's kind of heartbreaking everything I try to do. I'm uh, missing equipment to do it with. So I'm going to go down to Nyanic and try to go on a party boat. They might not be sailing because it's too windy. If it's too windy, I brought some stuff so I can cast for albies and oh, all kinds of stuff. Blackfish, porgies. So I'm thinking of the boat. If the boat doesn't work out, the tide's going to be coming in. It's going to be good for some shore fishing. So I'll do something. Stay tuned off my bass. Uh, I got to the My Joy 747, super big party boat for the one o'clock trip. And hang on. Hello? Oh shit. I didn't buy those kind. Oh. I guess I have to go back and return them. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, bye. I got the wrong rigs. Usually I'm the one who knows, but I don't know. shore fishing. These porgy rigs I grabbed are better for, for the boat. So I'm going to get the high-low rigs with the biggest hooks. Hey, so uh, I went to the My Joy 747. I was the only one to show up at the dock and I asked them if I flipped them an extra 20, would they take me out? And they said no. And I explain that I'd put them on YouTube and you know, it's a pretty giant boat to uh, for them to just accommodate me I couldn't believe it the morning trip was loaded people were getting off with some nice catches and uh, the afternoon trips not going out so Sean was gonna come down with a bass tender and put it in a cove over here salt water and the gusts might go up to 40, so that's too probably too rough for the bass tender in that cove. We're not sure how the wind's going to affect that cove, but we're not going to take any chances doing that. So I checked out a place called Pleasure Beach. I got the AC on, by the way. It's not cold. I look like. Uh, I guess I could look like it's cold out. I'm warm, hot, kind of, and it's probably going to get chilly. You never know. It's, it was supposed to this month, a few weeks ago, and it never has, so we'll see. So right now, I'm going to get some gas and then go into another place called Parkins Beach. Sean and Jeff have already arrived there. I got the bait. It's doing that right now. Uh, we did take the bass tender out and slayed fish the other day. There's false albacore all over the place, so I'm set up for that. And we're set up for porgies, and I got a few green crabs for blackfish. Sean called me since he's. I'm not going on the boat. He's getting a ride down here, and. I gotta return these rigs. These high low rigs. They're definitely better for surf casting and you're you know you're pulling in. The other ones would get tangled easier. Yesterday I got up at three because I knew uh, Sean and Jeff were going to Seaside Regional Center and they had heard some good news, some good reports, so I got all my stuff ready to go with them, but then I found out they were bringing waders. 
couldn't find my waders. And finally, I uh, after the trip, I found them. Uh, when we had the smoke puff back damage in our house, everything went to get laundered. And I, I didn't know they laundered my waders. They look sweet. <laughs> but I found them. It was nice to find those. It's kind of heartbreaking when they were missing since I just lost a lot of stuff, including my rain gear, which sent me back to the car while they were still out fishing yesterday. But anyway, we went to their spot, and I'm set up for false albacore. Albies, they're really fun to catch. They're not great to eat. They also call them little tunny, but they're fast. They'll rip off, you know, hundreds of yards of line. And I've caught them on party boats before. I even won a pool uh, with an albie. And I've never caught them in my own boat. I've hooked them or from shore. So yesterday we were cast into them or I was, they were fishing for blackfish mostly. Casting from shore, reached a couple of them. Albies are picky. Sometimes they'll only take the fly on a light line. and Sometimes they'll take any, you know, smaller offering, even on a, on a heavy line. But uh, I use the epoxy jig on a spinning rod, which is, you know, it's nice and small and really good albie lure. So that's what I use. And that being said, I had wanted to go to Pleasure Beach. And I met people we knew when we left uh, to stop for gas. I met people I knew that were at Pleasure Beach, and it was phenomenal. Albies were jumping right in the boat ramp. Everybody was catching them from shore. We're only four or five miles away, not even as the crow flies at Albies, but they're hard to reach. But, uh, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Stay tuned. took my kids here all the time. You can't swim at this beach. You can fish and wade. And it's a uh, state park. They fly kites and drones and all kinds of stuff here. I just got a soap t-shirt on now. And my waders. And uh, shorts under my waders. It didn't look like enough room, but we Where? can come right here on, these, on this side. Yeah. At the bait shop here we get green crabs, but uh, the blackfish prefer an invasive species known as the Asian crab. And I'm going to go try to pick some. Stay tuned. I bought green crabs at the local bait shop and tried them for over an hour without a hit, man. Some crabs? Yeah, where was that guy? Right here? Oh, they all they they all around here. Start here or way over there? Um. Don't. Yeah, most of way over there though. Huh? Well, I'll start this. <laughs> oh, there was one. Oh, 
Come on, bastards. We all uh, go down here more. This rock right here. Oh, yeah. Today Asian crabs definitely made a difference over the green crabs, but the green crabs are also an invasive species. They just have been here a long time, since like 1870 they came across on the sailing ships from Europe and they're widespread. The Asian crab is a more recent invasive species and uh, blackfish also like fiddler crabs and you can see how much these resemble a fiddler crab except they don't have the one long claw they have the same square body and uh, it's just an excellent bait definitely made the difference today and I'm gonna go pick some Asian crabs for my next trip Get any blackfish? I ain't catching none yet. No. I caught a big ass porgy, but I don't even want it. I want it. They can't give me a worm. <laughs> I don't got a worm, I got a crab. <laughs> you caught all those? Yeah, just a little one. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn! Should I take one of those, man? For a motherfucking goddamn. I'm scared of them, too. Yeah. <laughs> you caught all those? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> huh? Take the other little one in there too. I didn't see it. Oh, is that small? <laughs> is it is it big enough to keep? Yeah, it's bigger than the stores. Oh. Well, they got to be nine inches. Yeah, bigger than the stores. Yeah. Oh, nine inches, yeah. I don't think it is. Caught a porgy by hand. That's true. It was in a cooler, but I caught it by hand. Hey! I got this! Over there! Gotta go get them in the rocks! I got two of them! I don't think this is nine inches. Fuck nine inches! Is <laughs> this, this. Oh. It's bigger than Did this. Did you catch it with your hand? No. Somebody gave it to you? Yeah. I'm trying to keep the crab from the measure belt. The guy who took my best crab. Yeah. They gotta be nine here, yeah. I got it. 
small. Hey, that's right fist, wrong size. Asian crab. Got bites right away. Huh. All the money I spent at the bait shop. that far. I had a bite. Probably should go back to a three. Yes. Stack. That's a soft shell. This is a trifecta. Threesome. This is an Asian, Asian threesome.
those ears right away. There's more of them. Oh, what? They're still there. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Be a keeper right there. Sixteen. Come on, sixteen, please. Are you gonna be sixteen for me? Hey, seventeen and a half. Asian crab sandwich. Well, I need more Asian crabs now. No more. Oh, the little guys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 